Hi everyone and welcome to the third vlog already. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum -bum -bum. Just really wanted to say this real quickly. I don't know why I always say you guys and I hate it. I don't know why I always say you guys. It's like an automatic... I don't know. So I'm really gonna focus on not doing that because I really want it to be, you know, gender inclusive and stuff. So I need to stop saying you guys and people need to hold me accountable for saying that because I don't want to be that person. Just can't be that person, you know? So it's been a while because there wasn't really that much to vlog that was interesting because everyone's busy for Black History Month. So it makes a lot of sense. The reason I'm talking to you right now is because I had this idea and I think it's gonna be fun to just kind of like talk to black feminists in Belgium and ask them some questions because we don't really have like a spokesperson or an organization that includes all black feminists if that makes sense because we have them for like the north african movements but for the black feminists is very versnippert i don't know how to say versnippert in uh, in english i think that it's more interesting to talk to people and kind of have a dialogue than just me talking and saying what findings I have. So I think that's gonna be nice. Then I'm gonna take you with me. So hi everyone, I'm here with my best friend, Olivia. And we're just gonna do a short interview about like feminism here in Belgium because you know we live in Belgium and she's as well as me a black feminist. So you can introduce yourself, just tell the watchers a bit more. So my name is Olivia, I'm 22 years old, I'm 2023 very soon. Um, I am very interested in anthropology and philosophy. I like to think a lot, I like to have fun with my life. <laughs> um, I'm really a family person and I think it's very important to have a good set of morals and values that help you navigate life. My experience with black feminism is an everyday thing. I feel like it's very ingrained in um, the daily life of black women anywhere in the world. I don't see feminism as a thing that exists outside of me or outside of my community. I feel like there's so many feminists that wouldn't necessarily call themselves feminists, but they are just inherently by what they do and what they believe in. I grew up around very strong women. Um, my mom is a very strong woman, strong black woman. <laughs> and she definitely instilled that in me. And what is black feminism to me? Well, Belgian black feminism, Belgian black feminism. Very underdocumented. That's the first word that comes to mind. I think people are really trying um, to form like communal spaces and um, just be there for one another. Because I think before you can really have a big organization, black feminism is very much rooted in community and just being there for each other, talking to each other, helping people up. And I think that's what um, most of the black feminists in Belgium do at this time. I think maybe if you'd asked me the same question in 10 years, I'd have a different opinion. I have more things to say, mm -hmm. but right now, that's my experience with it. That's what I think it's like. Mm -hmm. So, do you know like any black feminist or women ex or organizations here in Belgium? Like, no. If you don't... No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I, any, because I think I know of them, that, like, of them and mm -hmm. I know that they exist because of your project. But before, <laughs> oh, I would have, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Um, Makes sense. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is really like those groups on Facebook where I, I always feel safe to ask questions and I know there's older, older people that can help me, older black women. Um, when outside it was still open, we'd, had, we'd have like different events. Um, so those things, it's, but it's not specifically for black women, that's the thing. It's always mm -hmm. a sub, a sub okay. um, type or subsector of what I'm going yes. to. Yes. And do you think we should have more or maybe have one or like... How do you, how would you like want to see it if it's, you know, in 10 years? I think it would be very nice if there's just different spaces where, you know, you can always go to and it's a safe space. So for example, it's a very stupid comparison, but for example, um, Scouts and Hero, mm -hmm. you know how they always have like a cafe where they can go to and they just always know someone is there that they like and mm -hmm. they can have a talk with. Yeah. I think um, something like that for black women would be, nice. be really nice because 
that way you get to know new people in a very chilled environment you can have serious conversations mm-hmm. especially if you want to you can have a drink you can eat something small and um ideas can really flow in that type of space i think that would be nice i think so too i feel like they do exist but we just don't know about them mm-hmm. because there's like union des femmes africaines there's a lot of organizations i think they're just very unknown mm-hmm. to us yeah. maybe our generation maybe maybe it's our generation indeed and also because we live in Antwerp maybe that's that as factor. well maybe they're more in Brussels because yeah. when I looked it up it's really Brussels based mm-hmm. everything and like you said like we're I think we're trying mm-hmm. this project is probably part of a step well. in a you know yeah. in a good direction but yeah we need more mm-hmm. and then what about archive work archiving what are your thoughts about it i don't know anything about that mm-hmm. i do think it's important to have it mm-hmm. because um even though i'm not really a history person i do understand the importance of history and the importance of being able to look up things and read things and see pictures um for me it makes me feel less lonely mm-hmm. and it makes me feel like i'm really working in my purpose with things that i do just by being myself mm-hmm. because i That's see what people before me have done and the the way that they've paid for us to just be how we are right now and it would be a disservice not to not to like go back to that mm-hmm. and get inspired from that yeah yes. that was a nice answer it's kind of what i wanted to hear you know <laughs> you want to add anything to anything okay that's great. it so that's it for the interview it was really nice yes. <laughs> really proud of her